guys and welcome to Dragon Age Origins. My name is Rich and I'm here to bring you a series in the game that I would personally call one of the best role playing games out there. I've only ever played this game once and I never really completed it because other games started to get in the way and this one started to fade away. I didn't really play that much so I'm pretty much a novice at it. However, I did find this game very enjoyable and I wanted to share it with the rest of you who are interested, especially those of you who are interested in role playing games such as this. So let's not really waste any more time, we want to get straight into this. Now I will say, for those who haven't played this before, even though it is quite an old game, it can get a little gory at times so you will see a lot of blood. And because I haven't played this game for a very long time, I've pretty much forgotten all the controls so you'll have to bear with me if things go a little bit slow at the start. I will try and uh, get through this as fast as I can, but it will be quite a long series because it is quite a long game. And I'll just uh, let you read this bit here. A, a bit of the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Well that was a very interesting uh, introduction there. As I said, a lot of blood. Alright, here's the... Uh, we're gonna make character now. I don't want to take too long doing this, so make it very simple. 
human, elf, or dwarf? Hmm. Three very good cho choices. I prefer the elf, to be honest. I'm gonna go with. Um, I use it on magic, so we'll go for mage. And the only one we can choose here is Magi. Oh, and no. then we'll just. We'll just pick this one, this will do. Alim. Greetings. Appearance and voice. Not really bothered, so we'll just go with this one. Casual, normal, hard. We'll go for normal. As I haven't played this in a while, I'm going to be quite new to it, I'd say, so we'll keep it normal for now. See if we can't change it a bit later on when I get used to it. This should be a good game. Though. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhard stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the circle tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Oh, so this is going to be more... kind of selection. Mm. What happens if I cannot defeat it the It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. So that was uh, kind of a long introduction. Hope that gives everybody a bit of background about what this game is. Hopefully we'll get some action now, you know. <laughs> and here we go. What the hell is this? Oh yeah, it's a shadow round. Of course. Base of healing. Thank you, I'll take that. What's this right here? New codex. Ah, oh, codex is just something to read. I don't think we really want to do that, to be honest. So, looks like we have to go down here, I suppose. Ah, oh. oh, I see. You've got to kind of aim it and shoot. 
Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. The Not to you, me, anyone. Is this the fade? You're a talking rat? <laughs> I think we'll go with that one, to be honest. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. Not your real name, I take it? No. I don't remember anything from... before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. What am I supposed to do? There's something here, contained. Just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. Anything can die? I doubt it's that simple. I think we'll go with this one instead. A question for those in the tower. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to ask. Maybe someday, so will I. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow. If that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. Now I know the quality is kind of blurry. The dangerous spirit is not far. It's, Don't uh, go near it unless you're ready to fight. It's not me, it's actually the game. It's supposed to be like that, I think. So, looks like I've got a little mouse following us. Don't know how helpful that's going to be. And I don't think it can really do much. What have we got down here then? Lyrium Fang. The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. What sort of creature is this anyway? I have no idea. <laughs> Try going down here, see if there's anything useful. Oh, more of those wisps. Don't give up these, don't you? Very well. Up there. Oh, it's just like souls or something? Don't do very much damage, do they? Oh, what have I got here? Another person? Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. For each other, we're not warriors. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. Let you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. What kind of spirit are you? I am Balor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. 
I need your help. Of course. You are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Would one of these weapons affect the demon? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. Sure, I can use a weapon. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. If you do not convince me, I will slay you. Are these rules understood? Yep, let's go for it. Our duel begins now. Fight with Valor! Uh -oh. ah, glorious battle. Take it. That was quick. Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. Why, thank you, sir. May you find glory in all your achievements, mortal. Oh yeah, got myself a staff. Alright, let's just uh, continue on now. I think we're supposed to be going this way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. What kind of spirit are you? It's a demon. Maybe even more powerful than the one chasing after you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth. Motto. Oh, I tire of you already. I need help defeating a demon. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean, teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I, I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? Hiding doesn't solve anything. We need to face our fears. We? I have faced more in this place than you can imagine. Fear is just one more thing. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. 
I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm hmm? I told you he wasn't going to help us. Mouse wants to learn? Teach him. Teach the son of a bitch. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Oh god. Riddles. Oh, his face. I always failed at these. Oh, we'll do it anyway. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? A desert. Yet, deserts have sand. No, I speak of a map. Time to feast. What a delight. Uh -oh. Stand still, will you? Enough. You are a pest, and not worth all this exertion. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get rid of you. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then, and defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. I taught the mouse do not persist. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave it here for this I'm part. Tired. I know it's been quite long, sorry about that, but it was quite a bit of a prologue. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you can join me on the next part.